Good morning. Welcome to Daily Devotions. I'm Pastor Corby Johnson, and I serve in the United Methodist Church in Safford, Arizona. We have snow on the mountain, but everything down in the valley is nice and warm. I hope it's warm where you are, and if it's not, I hope that you feel the warmth of Jesus enter your heart today. Today is Wednesday, March 17th, 2021, and we're in Proverbs 9, 1 through 13. I'm sorry, Proverbs 9, 13 through 18. Before we get started, I just wanted to kind of pick apart the word folly. Now, when I first read this word uh, years ago in scripture, I thought immediately of the ice follies and how we would go every year and see the ice skating with the music and it was just beautiful or watch it on TV. It was just beautiful the way people just would glide along the, the ice so graceful. But this isn't that kind of folly. This folly is the kind that kind of makes you fall, although it's F-O-L-L-I-E-S, but it is something that you shouldn't do and you do anyway. And it's not just a one and done thing. This is something that is a regular occurrence. And sometimes it might even be telling the same story or um, that puts you in a bad light or that um, shows people where your flaws are. That would be folly. So when you think about that word, think about things that you do regularly or semi-regularly that you know you shouldn't do, but you've continued through these years doing just that. Let's turn to our scripture. I'm going to read this in the New International Version today. Folly is an unruly person. Folly is simple and knows nothing. It sits at the door of a house on a seat at the highest point of the city, calling out to those who pass by, who go straight on their way. Let all who are simple come to my house. Folly is an unruly person. To those who have no sense, it says, stolen water is sweet, food eaten in secret is delicious. But little do they know that the dead are there, that our guests are deep in the realm of the dead. That's quite a lot in, in just a few verses, isn't it? And to unpack this, <laughs> I hope that you continue to look at your version and um, after we're done here and continue to look at your life and how this directly speaks to you. So I'm going to imagine a time, have you imagine a time, when you lacked good sense. Maybe you need, need time to think about that. But there's a possibility you thought of something right away. Maybe you didn't have enough information. Maybe you didn't just didn't care and you followed the crowd. Maybe. But I think most of the time, when I imagine those times in my life, and maybe you're like me, I knew right away. I knew I shouldn't be there or I shouldn't be doing that, but I followed the crowd. And to be honest, I may have been one of the leaders periodically that led others into a bad situation, that we all experienced a time of lacking good sense. So I would, as an activity, I would like you to think of about folly. How did your lack of sense um, or good sense affect you? Affect your job? Affect your family? Think about how your lack of good sense 
affected you and all of the people around you. Then, as an action, if you're comfortable, perhaps you would put your experience to work. Maybe you would share that experience with someone who is running low on good sense. Think about what you might say to that person. How, how would you say that? Would you shoot them an email? Would you text them? Would you call them on the phone? Or would you have a face-to-face -face talk with them? So if you're comfortable, put your experience to work. You have a multitude of experiences in your life. And there is someone who is running low on experience and good judgment. And they need you. They truly need you. Then our focus verse today is verse number 17. Stolen water is sweet. Food eaten in secret is delicious. Hmm. Do you agree? Stolen water is sweet and food eaten in secret is delicious. I don't know about you, but if it's secret, that might be a problem. I'll see you tomorrow. God's blessings today. May the face of the Lord shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May you have that lovely sense of peace. Amen.